Hello everybody, my name is Star Wars Boy, how are you? And welcome back to the channel for a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. The Clone Wars has been a great addition to Star Wars canon in many ways I can think of, creating brand new stories in a fairly unlocked period of time, giving us more context for events that happen in the films, but mainly giving already existing characters new stories and a chance to shine. One of the characters that this happened to was Commander Cody. Before the Clone Wars, he was just known as the clone who almost killed Obi-Wan. The Clone Wars developed him into his own character and became a favorite amongst fans. In this concept, we will be going over base stats, abilities that represent Commander Cody, skins, and finally, emotes. Before I start the video, I do want to say that I have an Instagram. I'm posting regularly on there about pretty much anything, so if you want to chat, see what's up, or give me any video ideas, Instagram is the best place to do so. Second, I have expanded channel memberships to two tiers instead of one, so if you think my content is worthy and what you see looks interesting, be sure to check them out and see the exclusive perks that channel members receive. I'll be posting a thank you message to all new members on my Instagram. So with that all out of the way, let's get started on with the concept. So taking a look at base stats, and just like my Captain Rex concept, Cody would be a pretty offensive character, fighting in the front lines with his brothers and Jedi generals. Since he is a commander with more experience, his base health would be on the higher end, coming in at 750, with a health regeneration of 250. His weapon of choice would be the iconic DC-15A carbine rifle, which is the standard blaster across the entire Galactic Republic. The damage per hit would be 25 to the body and 40 to the head with a rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute and an overheat of 25 shots. Moving on to abilities, and I really wanted Cody to be a top tier blaster character, giving him abilities that would suit his character. His first L1 ability would be called Explosive Shot with a 30 second cooldown. Similarly to Battlefront 2015, when activating this ability, Cody switches his DC-15A to use Explosive Rounds. Since Explosive Rounds are being used, his weapon would have a 25% higher heat buildup, making his blaster fire for a shorter period of time. The blast radius of each explosive bolt would be around 1.5 meters, and would make this ability active for 15 seconds. I imagine there would be star cards to make this ability last longer, and the ability to gain time per kill. His R1 ability would be called Together Brothers with a 25 second cooldown. Being the respected commander he is, Cody motivates and inspires his troops to fight even harder. This ability would grant Cody and his allies a bunch of perks, such as a 25% increase in sprint speed and a 50% reduction in health regeneration delay. What I mean by this is that your health would start regenerating twice as soon as it would have before, making this really good in critical situations. This ability, just like the last, would have a 15 second duration. Star cards would be able to extend the duration and the radius of this ability. His final middle ability would be my favorite. It would be called Heavy Weapons would have a 20 second cooldown. This ability would swap his DC-15A with an improved DC-15LE. The rate of fire would be that of the CR2 at 900 with a damage output of 8 to the body and 16 to the head. The range would be a lot better compared to the heavies version of the weapon and would have a pretty small bullet spread. The duration of this ability would be at 10 seconds and each kill would extend the ability by a second by default. Star cards would make this ability even better by extending the base duration and even extending the fire rate to a max of 950 rounds per minute. Moving on to skins and Commander Cody surprisingly doesn't have a lot of skin options. His base appearance would be called Leader of the 212, which would showcase his classic and iconic Phase 2 armor. This armor would be extremely battle-worn, just like we saw in the Revenge of the Sith. His second appearance would be his Phase 1 armor, which would cost around 20,000 credits. We do see Cody in his Phase 1 armor in the early season of the Clone Wars, which is a lot less detailed compared to his later Phase 2 armor. Nonetheless, it would still be quite cool to have this as a skin option. Of course, Commander Cody would have the option to toggle on and off his helmet for both of these skins. If you loved your brothers, you wouldn't have put them at risk. Well, good luck. I'm putting you in charge of this one. I'm Commander Cody, your new boss. This is never gonna work. 
So many troopers. Gone. Yeah. Regular folk don't understand. Sometimes in war, it's hard to be the one that survives. Yeah. All of us were born to fight! We're clones! We fight! We win! So that is gonna do it for this concept, guys. I would absolutely love if Cody was added to a future Battlefront 3, as he's one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know who I should make a concept on next. See you guys next time, bye, and may the force be with you, always.